Hey guys, how are you doing? Ray Daly here. I hope you enjoyed the sessions over the last two weeks. I'm back for week three this week with a similar kind of session. So what we're going to be doing is the same as the other few weeks. I'll just take you through a warm up and we'll do some activities. This week we have two new activities and we'll be focusing mainly on the pickup, so rising the ball and on bouncing the ball as well. So what we'll do is we'll get started straight away. So if you remember from last week, the first thing we did was jumping jacks. So we're going to do that again this week, okay? So for those of you who don't remember, just your arms go over your head and your legs go out like that, okay? So we're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. That's it. So we're going to go for 30 seconds. Make sure your hands go over your head. If you're able to touch your hands at the top, do that. And then make sure your legs are going at the same time. Okay, so we're halfway there already. That's it, keep it going. You're doing really good. And we have 10 seconds left. That's it, well done. And five, four, three, two, one, and lovely, well done. So the second exercise we're gonna do is a new one this week, they're called walkouts. So I'm going to show you from the side here, okay? So what you're gonna do is keep your legs straight. You're gonna put your palms on the ground like this. Then what you're gonna do is walk out as far as you can. You're going to pause here for a second. You're going to walk back in. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible. Up you go, and then you'll go again, okay? So we're going to do that for 30 seconds. I'm going to do it nice and slow, so if you can go faster than me, go faster than me, okay? So we're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. So that's it. Keep your legs straight. Walk the whole way out. Hold for a second, and walk the whole way back in. Up you go, and then we're going to go again. So keep going, if you can go faster than me, like I said, work away. And come the whole way back up. Make sure when you're going down, you go out as far as you can and hold it for a second, okay? Walk out, back in, up you come, and we'll fit one more of these in, okay? So off you go. The whole way out, hold, and back. Lovely, that's really, really good. Next thing we're going to do now is our scissors. So if you remember last week, you do opposite arm and opposite leg. So if I have my left leg forward, I'll use my right arm. If I have my right leg forward, I'll use my left arm, okay? So you go like this. I'll show you from the side. What I want you to do is try to push your back leg back as far as you can, and then it'll jump in between, okay? So we're going to go again for 30 seconds. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. That's it. So make sure you're lifting your arms up and the little jump in between, okay? So if you can do this faster than me again, off you go, I'll show you from the side. So push your left leg back out and keep jumping. Lovely. So we have about 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, that's it, keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Lovely. So I'll show you the last exercise we're going to do now. It's a new one again this week. It's called the high knee clap. So what we're going to do is you lift your knee up as high as you can, clap underneath, lift your other knee up, clap underneath, okay? So I'll just show you really quick. So you go up and clap, up and clap underneath, okay? So again, try to keep up with me. We're going to go again for 30 seconds and go as fast as you can. So make sure your knees come up nice and high. Yeah? So we're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. So that's it, lift your knee up high, clap underneath. So try and go as fast as me. If you can go faster again, great. If you can't, just try to keep up with me as much as you can. So we're nearly halfway there already. Make sure you lift your knees up high. The higher they come up, the easier it is to clap. That's it, so we have 10 seconds left. That's it, keep going. And five, four, three, two, and one, lovely. Well done, so that's our warm up done already. So like I said at the start, what we're going to be working on today is, first thing is rising the ball, the second thing is bouncing, okay? So as you probably know, if you play ladies football, um, all we have to do is pick the ball up off the ground, and that's our pick up, okay? If we play with the boys, what you have to do is put one foot beside the ball, if you get your hands in a W shape like this, it will stop the ball going through your hands. Then what we do is we flick the ball 
up into our hands, okay? So I'll show you that from the side. So if you play the boys, foot beside the ball. I want the girls to watch this as well because both are going to be doing it today. Hands in front of the ball and then just flip it up, bring it into your chest, okay? So what we're going to do just to practice today is you're going to put the ball on the ground. We're going to go for 30 seconds and see how many pickups we can get, okay? So once I started, what we'll do is pick up with your right, then pick up with your left, okay? Up with your right, then up with your left, okay? Um, I'm going to go as fast as I can, but this is your first challenge of the day. So if you can beat me, try your best to go as fast as you can, okay? And remember, girls and boys are both doing this pickup today. So we are going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. So pick with left, then pick with right. Make sure you bring it into your chest like this. That's it. Use both your feet. If you look close, you'll see I have a W in my hand all the time so the ball doesn't go through it, okay? So we are halfway there already, okay? That's it, use both your feet, make sure you get up nice and close under it. And we have about 10 seconds left, okay? That's it, and five, four, three, two, and one. Um, I forgot to count my score there, but I think I got maybe 20. So if you beat 20, great. You've beaten me. If you don't, keep practicing all week and you will beat me, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is a little activity, okay? So if you see here, I have a shoe, put it on the ground there. I'm going to take five big steps and put down another mark for the far end, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. Here I go. What we are going to do now is we are going to work on both our picking up the ball, taking our four steps, and bounce, okay? What I want you to do in this is make sure you bounce with both hands and you pick up the ball with both feet, okay? So I'll show you really quick what I want. So I want you to pick up the ball, four steps, bounce, drop the ball, pick up with your other foot, four steps, bounce, drop the ball, okay? So remember, pick up with both feet, bounce with both hands. And we are going to go for 30 seconds, okay? So we're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. So pick it up, bounce, drop. Pick it up with your other foot, bounce with your other hand, drop. Up, four steps, bounce, and pick up. So remember, both hands and both feet. We are halfway there already. So what done. That's it. We have 10 seconds left, okay? That's it, keep practicing, get both hands in. And this is the last one there. Lovely, so nice job, okay? So, there you see we're using our rising on the move, as well as doing it on a standstill there a minute ago, okay? So what we're going to do now is put down four markers. So, you see here I have a shoe, if you want to come up here. A shoe, I have a sock here, a tennis ball here, and I have a cone here, okay? So there's just four different markers, okay? So for the rest of the session, what we're gonna focus on is bouncing with both of our hands, okay? So bouncing with left, bouncing with right, and bouncing with left, okay? So make sure we use both in this. So I'll show you really quick what we're doing. I'll start in the middle, I'll go up, bounce, back to the back, bounce with my other hand, go to the right, bounce with my right hand, go to the left, bounce with the left hand. Then I'll go back to the middle and I'll start again, okay? This is just to get practicing with both of our hands bouncing, okay? So we're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. So up to the top, back to the back, over to the side, over to the other side, okay? So you can do this as fast as you want or as slow as you want, okay? But just make sure that we're using both our hands when we're bouncing. That's it. We are halfway there already. That's it. Back to the middle each time, back to the back, and make sure we use the ball, our hands bouncing. So we have five seconds left, so we'll get one more round in. Whoop! <laughs> I nearly fell over. And back to the side. <laughs> nice one, as you can see. I nearly fell over, I didn't, thank God. So what we're going to do now is bounce <laughs> through our legs, okay? So if you are in junior infants, you'll remember last week what we did was 
put the ball under our legs like this, okay? So what I want you to do today is see if you can improve on your score from last week. If you can't remember, that's fine. If you can, that's great. If you are in first class or above, what I want you to do is bounce the ball under your leg, like that, okay? If you bounce the ball hard, the ball will come up. The higher you lift your leg, the easier it will be to bounce the ball under, okay? So what I want to do is, I will go with junior infants for the first 15 seconds, like that. Then I'll join first class up for the last 15 seconds for this one, okay? Cool? So we are going to go in three, two, one, off we go. So remember, first class, lift your legs up high, just pass the ball underneath like that. I'll show you from the side really quick. So if you lift your leg up, the ball will go under, okay? That's it, so we're halfway there already, so I'm gonna join first class and up. So what we're doing now is bouncing the ball under our legs, okay? I'll show you from the side, lift your leg up, like that. Much harder to show you from the side. That's it, keep it going. We have five seconds left. Keep bouncing, and we are done, love it. So follow me over here. Yep, yep, come on. <laughs> so what are you doing now? I don't know if you remember, we used this little target last week. If you still have it on the wall, great. If you don't, that's fine too. You just have to make another one, okay? So what we are going to do, we're working on our bouncing again. So if you're in junior infants, what I want, junior or senior, if what I want you to do is bounce the ball and try to hit the target, okay? If you hit, every time you hit it, you get a point, okay? If you're in first class or above, what I want you to do is bounce the ball with your left hand, try hit it, then bounce the ball with your right hand and try hit it, okay? So if you're in first class or above, bounce with your left, bounce with your right, okay? We're going to go for 30 seconds again. This is the last thing we're doing today and it's the last challenge, okay? So I am definitely gonna remember my score this time. So try and beat my score at the end, whatever I tell you, see if you can beat it. If you can, great. If you can't, keep practicing throughout the week until you do, okay? So I'm gonna do uh, the two hand bounce with, first, or with junior infants for the first 15 seconds. Then I'm going to join first class up to sixth class for the second 15 minutes, okay? So we are going to go in three, two, one, off we go. So that's it, try and target. Lovely. That's it, bounce the ball hard to the ground. Nice. That's it. Keep bouncing, and we are halfway there. So do your infants stay going with two hands? Oh, I'm going to go with one hand. That's it. We have 10 seconds left. <laughs> Five left. Uh, that's it done, right? Uh, my double bouncing was good, my single hand bouncing was terrible, okay? So I think I got a score of about six. So if you could beat six, um, well done. If you can't beat six, keep practicing and practicing. I hope you can all beat me. And I'll see how you get on during the week, your teachers will let me know. So guys, again, thanks a million for tuning in, for watching the video and taking part. And I will be back again next week in another video and some new activities. So, Thanks a million, well done, and I'll chat to you soon.